I'm Gold Derby editor Daniel Montgomery here with Ruth Nega, who stars in the film Passing as Claire, a black woman in the 1920s passing for white. Uh, now the character reminded me a little bit of Blanche Dubois from Streetcar Named Desire with the way, you know, she's longing for this different life and putting on these airs. Uh, and in, put, in playing Claire, how much do you feel like she was putting on airs versus how much is she authentically herself? I think the two are inextric inextricable, really. I feel like, um, I don't know, you know, I mean, I think to a certain extent, we're all performing, aren't we, in our, in our daily lives? And we're all like picking up and putting down masks, whichever suits us for that particular moment, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know um, how truly, truly authentic, you know, we, we all are, you know, and percentages wise, I think, I think it's, um, I think it's sort of a, a chemical mix that you can't really sort of separate into their two separate um, elements. Um, but I certainly, I certainly think for, for, for Claire, it's, it's definitely, um, the performance is actually crucial to her survival. Do you know what I mean? It's not like um, pedestrian or quotidian. It's 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 crucial because she's she's um she's lying about who she is essentially, and 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 in order to stay safe or as safe as she is at present, she needs to um, fully inhabit that lie, and that requires performance. And I suppose. You know, it's the thing if, it, you know, how long does it take, how long does it take before your performance becomes a reality and you can't actually separate the two, do you know what I mean? Um, and I like that you, you, you mentioned Blanche there and I'm surprised, like, I didn't, like, think of that sooner <laughs> because there's definitely that element, you know, that kind of, you know, when I, I've never played Blanche, but I've, see, I've seen it a couple of times and you always feel that there's this kind of, really desperate sort of energy, but there's a sort of reveling in the vulnerability and the danger, you know? And I think certain people have this kind of compulsion to living on the edge, you know? There's like propelled towards that tightrope for some reason. And, and, and you know, one gets the feeling that, that, that Claire is one of those people that as, you know, that the uh, uh, the allure of passing was was that she could perhaps live the life she wants, has have access to the life she wants, while also playing, you know. And, and the reality, really, I think, um, as she discovers, is is, is quite quite different. Uh, and, you know, Claire as a character, she has such a particular manner about her, the way she speaks, the way she moves, everything feels very thought out and deliberate for her, you know, but, you know, also for you as an actor, uh, what was, you know, what work went into kind of creating her from the dialect to just the physical, uh, physicality of her? Well, I think when you have a source material, <clears throat> like the book, you know, I mean, which, 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 you know, there's some really good meat in that in terms of you know describing Claire's um um physicality you know sort of even her even her vocal uh quality and her her gestures you know I mean you know the way she smells even you know all the it's um it's a very sensory sensual novel and 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 so is our film you know um it engages all the senses. And um, and for me, having that kind of source material was, was invaluable. But I think I think um what I what I really loved playing with was this idea that she has created a character for herself to survive in this world. First of all, to have access to the world and then and then to survive in it. And 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 I had this feeling that there was a sort of joy in performance, you know. And I think when when people have, have a, had a troubled upbringing, sometimes there is a a need to um, have a sort of severance from that trauma and that kind of idea that um, you can create 
you can you can sort of start and you um, create a blank a blank canvas and then paint what you want onto it. And I feel that's a very that was a very strong feeling I had about Claire. And, and for me, it was sort of mm, when I, when I was younger, you know, I'd watch sort of like films from the 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 thirties and the forties and the fifties oh. even, and and it, they're very kind of. I just really enjoy the kind of stylistic sort of, I don't know, heightened performance like quality of them. And I felt like perhaps that was what Claire kind of was seduced by as well, you know, that kind of ultra femininity, you know, and, and, and sensualness. Um, and, and I kind of love the idea that she she may not have had those qualities in her youth, but she's she's created herself, you know. Um, and you know, speaking of uh, creating her, uh, there's you know she there's so much about her we don't know. We see a lot of her through uh, uh, Irene's point of view. Yes. Um, uh, what kind of work did you do, kind of filling in her story to yourself? You know, you know, in order to inform your playing of her, or was all of that also in, in the book? Well, there's a lot in the book. I mean, it's very um, clear that she even within her community that she grew up in, the black community, she she was very much an outsider, you know, um, 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 with a, a, a white father and 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 eventually an orphan. And and you know, there's this um Nella uh, suggests there's this sort of scrappiness to her, you know, and and I feel that came from uh, uh, being on her own and having to defend herself and, and and look after herself and that's that echoes later in the film when I mean it's not in the film it's in the novel but in the film there's echoes of that need to keep herself safe and that she she ultimately can't rely on anyone else and 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 you know and that really I think when she disarmingly says to Irene on the steps you know I, I don't feel safe I safety you, you get this feeling that safety is what really she's striving for i mean aren't we all um and 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 in and for her that sort of a coming back to where she feels she most belongs and that's coming coming home to 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 the maternal really and i think that's what that's what harlem and irene and 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 um uh, represents represents to her and 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 she's she's trying she doesn't find safety in, in passing she finds a kind of a lifestyle but not not what she's really looking for um and so that kind of and i was really interested in seeing kind of those kind of that scrappy nature of her youth sort of peeking through occasionally do you know what i mean um and so you know I think that kind of performance, fem, performance of femininity, you know, and there's slightly vulnerability, helplessness there that I think she she's um, very good at is, um, I suppose, at once a mask, but also a reality. So, you know, I mean, we're very complex creatures, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, and the film is uh, written and directed by Rebecca Hall, um, who, you know, is until now best known as an actress herself. Uh, what was it like working with uh, her as a director since she has that background in front of the camera? Did that help uh, with the communication and, and developing the story and characters? Oh, I mean, it must have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, first of all, I didn't really think about that I just uh, it was very much engaging with Rebecca and her passion and her fire of, about this this novel and 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 her adapted her adaptation of it um which she's been working on for 13 years so that's a mighty long time to live with something and also like you know she knows this text inside and out and 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 obviously now we know there's, you know, she's very open about this has deeply personal resonances for her um, and, and, her, and her history, her, her familial history. And so all of these things, you know, that she brought were sort of, you know, you, you, you love working with people with skin in the game, you know, who, who, who really kind of, for me, you know, I've only recently figured it out now, but I realized like people, 
choose projects because they need to do them. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not kind of I don't know. There's there's a there's a need, and 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 her need was super clear, and 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 it coincided with my need, whatever that it whatever that might mean to play Claire, and and you know, and that means the stakes are high, and that's that's a wonderful place to be as a, as a as a creator and as an artist, and so that kind of I think we all you know Tessa and I and Rebecca and Edu, the cinematographer and all the other actors felt that sort of energy. Um, and then and then together with her just skill as a as a human and her warmth, you know, she's 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 super intelligent, um, <clears throat> super kind, very funny and and has a has a, a really uncanny instinct for truth and beauty and 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 i think you know and i think that i i think you know that's um you as an actor you sort of want to meet that and sort of like find out what vibration that's happening at and you know meet that and that's that's a lovely feeling and 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 she welcomes you into that because you know ultimately i think and i'm not sure if this is because she's an actor or not but i suspect it has something to do with it is 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 this atmosphere of collaboration do you know what I mean you never once felt that there was a source of hierarchy even though there is you know she's just written and directed this but there wasn't this this kind of cliche director's guard you know there's you don't need to know this or you know this is this is you know clever things um you know and I'm not saying all directors like that at all but um you know this was very much a Yeah, a, a, a very collaborative, you know, work of art. And I think, you know, and then having seen it, I think, wow, like what she has done, you know, we're all, the actors are kind of small cogs in it. And 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 she has created, a, 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 for me, it's a masterpiece. And it just makes me feel, oh, see, you know, the thing is what she was so clever and it's not, it's not in any way sort of, um, in a cynical fashion or premeditated fashion, but it's really important for a director to make the actors feel like, you know, they are a collaboration, you know, they are in a safe space. This isn't a, a space that you're welcomed and invited into. And that was definitely the, the, the atmosphere on that set. And of course, uh, your collaboration with Tessa Thompson uh, is, is so core to the effect of the film. Uh, and you know, there's so much unspoken between them. It's like, it's almost like choreographed dance between yes. them throughout the film as as they're sort of feeling each other out. What Absolutely. was it like developing that with, with Tessa and, and, and really capturing all those nuances? Well, listen, I'll dance with Tessa anytime, anywhere. Because I think that, you know, like I said, we all super passionate about this project, you know, um, and and uh, I think Tessa and I were both of the same mind of like, whenever you're ready, just pick up the phone and let's go. Um, and so that's always wonderful when you you know you're 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 all passionate about this 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 project, but also you know, and Tessa is a very skillful actress and artist and understands her physical relationship to space and the camera in a very, very sort of both intellectual way and a visceral way. And that's super important for um, any any performance really, but especially something when things are so much is unsaid and, and, and so much happens in the space between one, space becomes key. How much, how charged, where are we? Where are we looking? What is, you know, every movement and gesture is, is is crucial do you know what I mean so and that's and that's and that was lovely to work with someone who's as interested in in in, in that as you are and and and, and she's a, a master of it and so I think we were very much on that same like that vibration again um and that was just so exciting you know
it's it's it feels very and it was very cho choreographed you know this wasn't improvised in any way this film you know rebecca had storyboarded this film years before you know she and and and, and worked on obviously and knew exactly what she wanted down to sometimes like millimeters of distance between me and Tessa and where we should go and sometimes where the shoulder would be and I love all that because you know I'm very interested in the body and what it what it what it conveys you know it says sometimes it betrays us you know um and I, and, and I just thought that's and you know in a way you know one one might think oh that's quite restricting but it's not actually it's just another helpful grid and within that grid, you can play, you can bring, you know, your thing. And, and, and we, we both have sort of understood and acknowledged that. And, you know, so much, so much of, of directing and acting in the relationship between all of us is unsaid and you find it, you just find it, I, I don't know. It's not, it's not, that to me is not an intellectual cerebral thing, it's a, visceral, intuitive thing. Well, I wanna congratulate you uh, on the film, on your work in the film, your recent Gotham nomination for the film um, and knock on wood nominations coming, you know, going forward throughout the season. Thank, uh, you so and, and thank you so much for talking with me about it. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure too. Thank you so much. <laughs>